thank you again for coming to check us out here at New York Eternix. Today we're going to be making a Loganberry barbecue sauce. Loganberry barbecue sauce is delicious. I don't care what anybody says. If you want to repeat this recipe, you might be in luck if you're in the Great Lakes region. Otherwise, you might have a little bit of trouble finding the Loganberry or the Loganberry syrup. I use the syrup in this recipe because I got lucky and found the syrup. Now you can replace the Loganberry with pretty much any soda and you know come up with the same results except for you're gonna have to cook it down a little bit longer because you're gonna have to reduce the soda all right let's go make some barbecue sauce in order to make our loganberry barbecue sauce first thing we're gonna need is a pot I'm gonna use about a half a cup to a three-fourths of a cup of ketchup maybe even a whole cup I'm gonna eyeball it though then we'll get off to a running start go ahead and add a little bit of barbecue sauce why not which is the end result of what we're trying to do here, but hey. I'm going to add a teaspoon of liquid smoke. That's about a teaspoon of liquid smoke. Then I'm going to use up all the steak sauce. About a quarter of a cup. We have more Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put onion powder in here. Of course I'm going to add garlic. You can switch this out with pretty much any kind of soda. But keep in mind, if you're using straight soda, you're going to have to cook it down so it'll thicken up. Basically, you're going to have to reduce it. What I have here is a Loganberry syrup, so I'm not going to have to cook it down as much. Also, with Loganberry, it's very hard to find if you're not in the western New York, southern Ontario area. And everything gets mixed together. I'm going to use a whisk. And once everything's mixed up together, I'm going to put it on the heat. On medium, medium low, let it simmer. Until it's a little bit thicker. I'm going to put our sauce on medium heat and let it sit. Make sure we stir it occasionally. I'm going to stir it occasionally until it thickens up. And I've got fresh chives straight from the backyard. After I turn off the heat, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit and I'll put it in the refrigerator. Okay, we have our finished barbecue sauce. Nice and thick, pretty good. And let's not forget the chives. All right, so now we have our quail all marinated and ready to go. We're gonna let these sit for a few hours in the refrigerator, just like this. Then we'll get them on the grill. Now I'm pretty sure most of you know how to operate a grill. So we'll just go through this pretty quickly. I'm gonna to toss these on the grill at pretty low heat. And there it is folks, Loganberry barbecue quail. Thank you for coming to check us out again today here at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments or you want to share your own recipes, feel free to do so below. Also, leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll always be coming back with more. Thank you again from New York Eternix.